Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss something about networking configuration in RHL seven. In previous version of RHL, in RHL five, in RHL six, we were using a different set of commands. But in RHL seven, they have introduced a different commands for managing network interfaces, network connections, etc. So the objective of this session. is that we should able to configure ip version 4 networking using a different command that is nm cli and the configuration files are still there it is an etc says config network scripts directory i assume everybody is having a basic understanding of ip version 4 networking concepts like uh, network prefixes default gateways basic routing etc so let's start In RHL seven, the configuration of network interfaces is managed by a system daemon that is called network manager. For network manager, there is a device which is called a network device that is ENS thirty three, ENS thirty seven. In previous version, we were using Ethernet zero, Ethernet one, but here they have changed the naming configuration as well. That we will see. in this session so let's start so the very first com command which will show you the status of all the network interfaces that is nm cli dev status now you can see a single interface is connected that is ens33 type is ethernet and state is connected it means this particular server is having a interface ens33 which is connected if i am using if config hyphen g ens33 it will show you all the information this is the ip this is a net mask broadcast this is a mac address and this is ip version 6 ip version 6 is also supported there is one more command see uh, this command nm cli dev status it will show all the interfaces available on the server whether it is connected or not connected so it can show in that server we have only one interface connected say for example i have two interfaces ethernet ens33 and ens34 one is connected and one is not connected so this command will show you all the interfaces whether it is connected or not connected but here i can see only one interface is connected okay and another command dli connection show it will give you the detail okay and if you will give the interface name ENS thirty three. It will give you complete detail about that interface. ENS connection UID, interface name, connection type eight two zero dash three Ethernet, each and everything. And also, if you want to see the configuration file, <coughs> so it is in etc. Says config network scripts. Here you can see this file. If you get this file, it will be all the details. Okay. Now I am going to do one exercise here. <coughs> Sorry. I am going to add a inter network connection. I have already checked with this command and I am CLI def status. It is showing a single interface. Let me add another interface on the system. I'm virtually. This is my VMware, so I'm virtually adding a interface, another interface. Add. I'm going to select network adapter here. Finish. Now you can see two interfaces.
now again i have fired the same command nmcli dev status now i just started showing two interfaces ens33 and ens37 ens33 is connected which is having a valid ip but ens33 37 is not connected at all but that interface is present on the server okay right and there is one more command eni con show it will still show the connection which is currently connected there is one more command ip link which will also give you the detail of the links available on the server ip address there is one more command so it will also give you the details so let me uh, add an ip to the new interfaces which we have added just now ens37 so the command to add a new network connection is nm cli con add con name you can give any name but the system has already recognized ens37 it's better to take the same ethernet type is ethernet if name ens37 ip i am using ip version 4 so i will give ip4 ins 168.1 whatever the IP I want I can give it here gateway 192.168.30.1 okay so this is the command to give an IP address right successfully added now again if I give the command nmcli type status it is showing the interface ENS37 has been connected with an IP now here also earlier when I fired nmcli connection so it was not showing ENS33 37 but now it has started because we have provided a configuration details to this interface like IP I have provided the gateway I have provided right and I am in this location if I will give ls have an LDR we can see another file this file is representing to interface ENS 37 we can cat this file and whatever the IP we have given and whatever the details we have given it will show here right friends so <coughs> so this is the way we can add any interface suppose I have an interface which is a valid IP and I want to do some changes on that I want to do some modification on that interface so for that we have the command nmcli con mod mod is for basically modification suppose I want to do modification in interface ns37 is suppose I want to change the IP address so the command is IP address 192.168 let me show you first what IP is this I can see currently it is 192.168.30.132 we are going to change it to some other IP so the command is nm cli con mode ens 37 ip version 4 addresses and any ip we can give here which should be valid ip not any ip say for example i have given this one <coughs> after that we need to restart or uh, down or up this particular interface right to make it uh, up and down the command is nm cli con up 
ENS 37 now again if I will fire this command now I can see the IP has been changed it has been changed from 132 to 133 right so this is a basic command which we will be using to change the network configurations so what all we can change with the interface so there is a command nmcli connection show ethernet 7 so it will give you the list of all the configuration ip is this one suppose if you want to change this ip method manual that means you have we have manually provided the ip suppose i want to make it dscp auto so how we will do this so the same command and uh, ip it was uh, ip method sorry <coughs> IP version dot method IP and here I can okay. let's see whether it has changes or not now you can see this now it has changed from manual to IP version 4 right so in this small session we have understood what is IP version 4, what all the commands we have in RHL 7 for viewing network configuration and how to assign a new IP and how to change or do modification of an existing interface. So let us do some more. Uh, commands understanding mm. Mm, let me see any oh, okay suppose uh, I want to delete the connection suppose I have here I have two connections dev status I want to delete one connection so the command is nmcli connection del and simply the interface name so what will happen the connection will be deleted from here and from from its configuration file as well that is an etc sysconfig network scripts there is a file ifcsg underscore ens37 this will also delete from there right suppose i want to change the host name of my system suppose this is my host name i want to change it to some, some something else so the command is host name ctl set host name and i think server.example. dot whatever you want so that's all that's all about this session hope you have enjoyed this session thanks thanks for it